The huge drone overhaul is here and it's actually a really big deal. It's completely changing every single drone in the game. So here on the test server, I loaded up a hangar and let's start with the big changes. Actually, I'm gonna bring over what Pixonic said because they summed up pretty well in their notes, whether it's good or bad. So they said the overhaul concept, the main idea of the overhaul is to make drones a simpler feature overall. The new drones will attach to your robots like modules and each of them will be a complete item with a set bonus to robot stats or a predefined trigger. So this is really important. You can't swap out the drone skill. It's not like a microchip where you can swap it out anymore. Microchips will be gone. So there will be no drone builds. When you see a drone in battle, you will know exactly what it does when and how to play around it. So that's the idea of it. It's supposed to simplify, which I kind of get because when you first start, if you're a new player and you look at drones, they're probably the most confusing thing ever. But now, what are they gonna do with all the drone chips that people have spent thousands and thousands of upgrade, like upgrading? So I don't know what they're gonna do with those, with those currencies or how they're gonna refund people, but hopefully it's a good trade-off. So this is how it looks now. Notice there's also no separate drone inventory hanger. It's literally just attached to your robot. So let's look at the emoji with the wasp. So notice these aren't chips. I can't swap these out. They're set on the wasp and every single wasp drone will have these three effects or skills or whatever you want to call them. I think skills is probably the best. Drone skills, sure. So let's look, imitating rifle. The drone can heal damage at long range. The drone shoots along with the robot at the target. So that's that one skill. And then permanent additional damage. Drone increases output damage of the robot. Effect is active all the time. Okay, so you get a permanent 5% damage boost with the drone. So I really think they're trying to simplify everything, but also notice, so I accidentally, here, let's go over here. So I have different drones loaded up on each robot. Every single one, this is gonna to apply to. So Persephone and here. So these are the three skills and notice every time you upgrade. So let's upgrade this. So the drone periodically repairs some of the robot's durability. The effect lasts forever. So I'm upgrading it and the amount healed is growing. So now we have each one drone increases damage output. Effect is active, so 5% more damage. Um, the drone shoots energy particles at your allies to repair them. The drone periodically repairs some of the robot's durability, blah, blah, blah. So that's the same with every single drone. As I mentioned, we have each drone, Scorpion, we have the, whatever it's called, the Armadillo. Everyone has, it looks like everyone has three set ones. It doesn't look like any of them actually have four. And you can see here, I'll just switch it out. Um, if you go here, this is... Not every drone, like they're missing some, they're missing the paralysis I noticed isn't here. Um, but there's the whiteout drone. All of them have three skills. Every, oh, I saw four, I saw four. Oh, interesting. So the barrel drone has four skills on low durability. Man, they got rid of drone shielding. I just noticed that now. There is no more shielding. Oh, actually, what is this? That's a bit confusing. This is a bit weird. Shield. I thought they were getting rid of this. 500,000 shield. Okay, this looks like it hasn't been finished yet because it says large damage absorber desk 500,000. So maybe some things aren't finished here, but I wonder if they're going to get rid of shields completely. Here. Okay, so this one activates an Aegis shield. What is this, the good guy drone? So... It's really not that complicated. They're simplifying drones. I just really hope they can reimburse people for the microchips that they bought because people have spent so much gold upgrading those microchips and it's worth like a lot of in-game currency. So hopefully people can get kind of, I don't know, what they spent back in this new form. I don't know how. Maybe they'll just instantly convert your max drone to like a max drone in this form. But let's jump into some games and let's see how these new drone effects, because some of these skills are definitely new. So let's try these things out. Okay, here we go into battle. So, oh, notice I just pressed my Capri, but you don't select a drone. Whatever robot and drone you match up in your hangar, it's done. That's the combo you're gonna get in game unless you change it beforehand. You no longer pick a robot and then select a drone separately. 
So I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but I guess that's how it's gonna be. Um, let's see what we can do here. So our Whiteout drone has that EMP effect. Kill. So uh, most of the drone, um, oh man, we just melted, melting up. Man, these new laser weapons are still so powerful. This guy, there we go. Oh, that's a hawk, that's a hawk. So most of the drones it looked like, or everyone that I checked, has the same basic ability. So the Persephone, oh, oh, hold on. The Persephone, we're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die, and we're dead, okay. So the Persephone has the healing ability still built in. The Whiteout drone has the EMP effect. This wasp shoots weapons, shoots a little gun thing out of it, the same as it did before. So the basic premise of each drone is remaining the same. They're just, it's really the drone chips that they're changing. So remember every, what they said, every single drone you see is gonna be the same of that copy. So if I see another wasp drone, it's gonna be the same as my wasp drone. If I see a Persephone drone, it's gonna be the same as my teammate's Persephone drone. Every drone type is the same. Oh, here last hand's triggered. Man, this test server, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this thing is super, I don't know if it's laggy or the frame rate is dropping, but this is super weird. Classic test server being really weird. Okay, our last thing got triggered here. I also have to hit my healing like separately. It's not a button, the button's not working. So this is weird. Okay, so also notice with this Emuji robot, we're, we get stealth, our ability, the emoji is very different from the first time I used it. The first test server session, the emoji ability um, was unlimited flying. You had no stealth but unlimited flying. Now you have stealth but a limited flying ability. Oh, let's back up. Man, this is lagging so hard. Jeez, look at the frame rate on this. Looks like I'm playing on a Nintendo 64, man. Man, Pixonic, do not bring this quality to the live server. I'm begging you. It's got enough issues. But also notice how no one's got... I'm not seeing any drone shielding popping up. And everyone has drones. Actually, that's some shield... Actually, that's probably just robot shielding. I dropped my teleporter. I'm gonna go through the teleporter. Why can't... Bro, wait. We're locked down now. Why couldn't I go... The emoji's still messed up. I can't go through the teleporter. Last week, it was messed up. This week, it looks like it's messed up. They gotta cut back the bugs on the test server because then they introduce the test server game into the live server and then the bugs come along with it. This guy, uh oh. Angler, angler, angler. Uh oh, uh oh, man. Oh, we lost a fainter. Meatballs. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Okay, there we go. We got the kill, but we did lose a fainter, robot. That Luchador is right there. Man, I'm just thinking now. I'm not. I'm just thinking about how. Hold on. How big of a change it's going to be without having drone chips. Think about all the uses you get out of those. To start, drone shielding is the biggest one. Um, then there is the on repair unit damage, which I'm so accustomed to using to get that massive damage boost. You can't use on module use uh, damage boost either. On repair defense. Like none of that stuff will exist anymore. I mean, maybe some individuals won, but not to that extent. You won't be able to stack it and be as customizable. I- Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I guess that's a downside of this drone rework. It's gonna simplify things, but make things less customizable for each player. Which I guess has its ups and downs. Oh, man. Man, this is so freaking laggy. It looks like my robot is running around in 2 FPS. And we're dead. Okay, so let's use, I don't know, what should we use? Should we use, yeah, let's go Muji. Okay, so remember, now we have the Persephone drone. So this Persephone drone, the built-in ability is healing. I think it's healing myself and my allies, right? So that's the built-in ability. And most drones have three skills, except we saw that barrel drone has four skills. So that's a bonus of the barrel. But everyone is the same. There's no microchips. Microchips do not exist in this new drone overhaul. Uh, yeah, 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 show yourself. Oh, that's a, oh, we're chewing him up, chew, oh, okay, I didn't get the kill. 
This is a very weird build I'm running right now. Man, I'm so... I really don't know how effective the emoji is going to be on the live server. I think in clan play, it has very good use. But in solo play, I just can't see it like being super effective. It's like decent durability, decent firepower, flying is not that great. But if you can use the ability right, it can be super effective, but it's a weird idea. Oh, we're getting lasered. Lasered, blazered, razored. Okay, I'm gonna run. Oh my gosh, look at this. I can't get over how bad the lag is right now in the test server. This is really weird. This is not connection either. This is straight up just the test server. I dropped the teleporter. I don't think the teleporter is working. You guys let me know if you play the test server. I... The Muji teleporter doesn't look like it's working once again. Last weekend it was bugged. And now it looks like it ain't working. He's dropping, he's dropping. Actually, I want to go for that Ao Ming there. Okay, hold on. Okay, oh, this is a bad idea. Bad idea, bad idea. Bad idea. Mow him down, mow him down. Nope, we got mowed down. We're getting killed. Okay, so the combination of me trying out these drones and this terrible lag, I'm kind of just losing all of my robots really fast. So last but not least, the armadillo drone. So the armadillo drone still has that, you know, once you get a kill, you get 10 defense points or whatever, or capture a beacon. So there, it seems like most drones are keeping their main ability. It's just the microchips, really. You can no longer swap out and pick your microchips. And it's also a bit weird not being able to select your drone in a separate hangar when you're dropping in your robot. I'm not sure if I like that or not. Because before, I would run multiple drones. And then sometimes, I would have like an extra drone just in case I want to use it for like certain situations. Like more tanky or more defense. But now you can't do that. You have to do the one you put on your robot. Which is more restrictive. Run. Oh, we're getting smoked. We're getting smoked. Okay, okay. Can we get a kill here? We got a cryo scorpion. Okay, you know what? Let's... I guess we should just... This game's almost up. We do have a huge beacon of our lead. Come on, kill! Oh, come on. We couldn't even get the kill, man. Oh, scorpion. We couldn't even get the freaking kill. Oh, okay. We couldn't get that either. Okay, um, that is probably going to be it. Okay, so that is... The gameplay is a bit less important. And the actual drone system is more important. Because... Like I said, every drone microchip is now gone. They're replaced by just permanent skills. So let me know what you guys think about this drone overhaul. Some things I like, some things I don't really like. Um, I liked the ability of being able to choose your drone with your robot in game. I like that. I like how they're getting rid of a lot of the drone shielding. I just don't know. The microchip, it's a pain to get used to. But once you're used to it, it's kind of locked in and then you like it. So this is very different. And also, I'm very curious as to see what they do with drone shield. It looks like they're really cutting down drone shielding big time. Um, so let's see how that progresses. Try it out for yourself. Let Pixonic know. I know I will let Pixonic know what I think. Peace. Cheese McMuffins.